Hello guys and welcome. I'm the CPP Dev and in this video we will discuss a bit about how you can set up Sublime for software development under Windows operating system. Now Sublime is just a text editor but we are going to set it up in such a way that it will also have a build system and will allow us to automate the development process. This is just my take on the matter and I'm sure that you can find better ways on the internet but I will show you how I do it. Of course, we need the proper build system in place for our project first, but after that we will hook it up to Sublime so we can only press a button and have our build on the way. Maybe you would ask, why want to do this? Well, at least in my case, as you maybe know from previous videos, I'm quite fond of using the Linux operating system with a simple text editor. I find that IDEs are mostly making my work harder with all the hassle needed to add new libraries, which is most of the time not worth for me. Also, by using an IDE, you might just slow down your knowledge growth since you have all the auto-completion stuff and you don't have to even know what happens in the background when you press the compile or run button. Before getting to the how part of this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button if you want to learn more about the C++ programming language or environment and don't forget to press the like button if you found this video useful. Now that we got over that, let's get into the fun stuff. First, a little bit of an overview. We have the Sublime Text Editor, which in turn has a so-called build system embedded in itself. What we would like to do is set up this embedded build system in such a way that it uses the actual project build system, which also has its own dependencies. In our case, the project build system will use CMake, Make and G++ as dependencies. Since the Sublime build system doesn't allow us to use directly the project build system because of some limitations, we are going to add an intermediate step. What we will do in this case is that we will make the Sublime build system first use some batch scripts that we are going to create. These batch scripts, in turn, will use the project build system that we have already set up. Now that I showed you what I will be covering, let's start with the dependencies. First of all, we will need to download and install some tools for Windows. We of course need the Sublime Text Editor, which will be the main tool for the development process. We also need some compiler that will do the job for us, which in my case is going to be the MinGV64, which will provide GCC and G++ and we'll also provide make for the actual build. We also need to install the CMake package, which we will use as the project build system. Of course, you can find both packages with a simple Google search and just download them from there. The installation is simple and it works as any other software installation. After we are finished installing both software packages, we just need to set up the pet variable for the MinGV64 bin directory and also for the CMake bin directory. Now that we have everything installed, I'll use a simple project that I'm working on at the moment which consists of two binaries, a client and a server. I already have some CMake files set up for it, but I'll go through them real fast. If you want an overview of how you can create your own CMake build system, you can check the CMake related video from the Project From Scratch series. In this project, however, I used modern CMake practices, so it's a little bit different from the one in the previous video. If you want me to create a video related to modern CMake, please leave it down below in the comment section. Taking a look at the current project, we have the upmost CMake file here, the global one, in which we have set up a variable called build target. As you can see, I check the build target variable, if it's not set, I simply set it on all. If target is set to server or all, I add the subdirectory for the server and if the target is client or all, I add the subdirectory for the client. Adding the sub subdirectory will make the CMake binary run the CMake list txt file from that subdirectory. If we take a look in the server and client CMake files from the respective directories, we can see that we have targets set up for each binary. Since we have the CMake build system set up for our project, we need to make Sublime run it somehow, so we need to configure it. 
Unfortunately, Sublime's new build system does not provide us with everything we need in order to run our CMake based build system. So, what we are gonna do first is create the two batch scripts to be sort of intermediary steps between Sublime and our project. There is going to be one build script and one run script which are self explanatory. First, let's set up the scripts and then we are going to also implement the new build system created in Sublime. What we need to do for the build script? First of all, we want to generate all the build files in a new directory, a build directory. Then we need to run both CMake and then make from that directory in order to build our project. We are going to ask the user about which target he wants to build and also after the build is done we will ask if the user wants to run any of the targets. If the user also wants to run the targets we will launch the other script, the run.bat script. And that is what we needed for the build script. We will also create the run script and after that we will just make them all work together using the sublime build system. Here is what we need for the run script. We need to check which target the user wants to run and also make some sort of a loop in case the user wants to run multiple targets. For example in this case one server and multiple clients. After that is set we will just execute the binaries generated from our previous build. Everything is set now in order for us to create the sublime build system. We only need three simple instructions for this configuration. First of all, we need to specify the working directory, which will be a variable provided by sublime, the folder variable, which evaluates to the topmost directory of the project. We need to add a command for the build system. Please note that the sublime build system only lets you use a single command field. That is why we had to create the batch scripts. This command will only be to start the build.bat script. And we also need to tell sublime build system that we need the command to be actually a shell command. That is all for our build system and everything is set so we can build our project directly from Sublime and use it more or less as an IDE. Let's give it a try. Just go to tools and build system and select the one we just created. Now we can build it using tools build button from the menu or just using control plus B. Ok, so that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new and maybe you use such environment for your future projects. The good thing related to this approach is that we used CMake which is cross platform and we can for example also create some bash scripts for Linux and have a build system for both Windows and Linux operating systems. If you enjoy my content don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for future videos like this. Also leave a comment below to tell me what you think about the video and if you managed to follow the steps. Or maybe you have a better way of setting up the sublime build system in Windows. Thanks for watching and see you.